So okay. my Punisher okay. is Alpha Bazaar is A to Z, and uh, for s- sometimes, like if I know if they're series that connect to each other, even if they have different titles, I'll put them next to each other. What do you boxes. do with things that cross over that you're already collecting for other things? Because I know you happen. collect Ultimate. Yeah. And what happens when Punisher shows up in an Ultimate book? Well, you know there are. So some that's not with your Punisher, right? It is with my Punisher. The, really? The interesting thing is, so does my that mean Punisher everything is... Ultimate is with your Punisher, even though he's only in a few of those? Well, Ultimate sort of went the way of the dodo for me collecting because uh, initially when it came out, I loved all of it. Oh, and I thought you had all of it. Well, I stopped collecting Ultimate X Men right about the time I started despising it, as opposed to not enjoying it. Oh, so, and you're only collecting it now because Human Torch is there. Yeah. So okay, because Vince fact, also collects. Uh, uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four. Ultimate, Ultimate Fantastic Four. Which I was going to say Fantastic Four, but then I went, well, wait a minute, you're not reading current, so you can't collect everything yeah. Fantastic Four. Yeah. And that would be wholly infeasible it would. to, yes. <laughs> to yes, collect it would. A, a regular FF. But uh, so if my Punisher stuff well, goes. Well, if you didn't in, trade, you could do it. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you didn't trade, you could do it. And I have some Punisher stuff in trade. I so. think nearly all of FF is pretty gra- is pretty gettable right now, isn't it? Yeah. I think uh, that's a that's a wide statement that I haven't researched. I don't know if I'm right about that, but I if, think you can get a lot of it at least. Yeah. I mean, and in fact, if you just have the disc, that especially has if you the, don't mind with like essentials and stuff. But if you don't mind just having it on disc, you can buy almost all of it, minus the uh, the uh, oh, I forget what you call it. It's not giant size. It's well, maybe it is giant size. Yeah, there's giant size. Yeah, there's giant size, and there's and, and there's um there's annuals. Those came out at the same time. Yeah, so it's missing all the giant size stuff, which is stupid because the giant size is part of the storylines. Not only part of it, but sometimes some of the more major stuff happened in those. So that's really dumb. But anyway, yeah. So. <laughs> So yeah, I have Sorry. my Punisher separated out. I would have my question separated out. I have my shadow in my shadow box. <laughs> uh, I would have my Spider Girl separated out. I just haven't done so when you yet. so when you go in to grab your shadow out of your shadow box, does that mean that you're shadow boxing? <laughs> You know, I thought about creating a show, just like whatever I happen to read, and just call it Boxing Day, and be like, "This is going into the box." Yeah, that's awesome. So well, anyway. Anywho. You know, people do unboxing videos, so there's no reason that you... <laughs> this, this is true. We have subscribers that do that. We do. That's, that's absolutely right. But, yeah, I think I did it's one very... of those one time with Arkham City, and I was and I was, I, mean, I started doing... And I was really timid. I was like, this feels weird. I've never done a video like this. And then people commented. They were like, the unboxing videos are awesome. Good job. And I was like, yeah, I'm glad you like that. I feel, like there should, I feel like there should be stripper music playing during an unboxing video. <laughs> 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 Any, anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, I think it's very indicative of what you could, or how you tend to collect things as as it is of how you tend to organize it. Because if you tend to collect specific storylines, then uh, what uh, what Rob here does, you know, that's how he puts it in his box, and that makes total sense. Yeah, that's that, it, it's a, it's a good idea. Um, it would confuse me a little bit. I I, I think it would kind of drive my brain a little bit crazy unless I put them in certain place. You know what I mean? Like. <sighs> I don't know, um, to like meticulously figure out, okay, these these issues of Batman don't have anything to do with any of this other stuff, so that's all just Batman. And then the Nightfall, that's all Night... You know what I mean? Like, I think it's a great idea, I just don't know if I could do it. Like, um, But I think part of the problem is that I know I have some gaps in all of that stuff. Like, if I had all of it, I would totally do that. Um, I know I'm missing a few things in Nightfall. I've got most of it, but I know there's at least a dozen issues I'm missing. Um, eight, to, eight to a dozen. Uh, going through, not just Nightfall, but going through the whole the whole, the whole whole shebang. You know, you Nightfall, Night's End, Night's Crusade. And then, um, and then like, uh, Death of Superman, I have everything, and that's all separated out, too. Um, I'll tell you how my collection is right now, um, and I, I'd like to change it. Um, at the moment, I, my stuff is all completely A to Z. 100%, just A to yeah. Z, is, is how I've got it. Um, and, Even if uh, it, like, changes name in the middle of the series? You'll move it to another, like, uh, no. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man? No, that I keep, Spider-Man no, that I keep together. Okay. That I keep, because it's the same series. And um, I usually do it by um, whatever it started as, unless it changed quick, or changed earlier than I have more issues of the later, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's a little bit complicated. Uh, for, for instance, um... You know that that happened with X-Men and Uncanny, um, and I've got all of that listed as, as, as Uncanny. I mean, like, there's, like, a bazillion issues of X-Men, and there's bazil- a bazillion issues of Uncanny. They're all the same series. Um, I've got all that together as Uncanny because it's generally known as Uncanny, even though I think it started as X-Men. I forget now. <laughs> how, how, no, I think it did. I think it started as X-Men, and then it's changed later. Anyway, sorry. Um, 
I hate, I hate to be wrong, which is why I would stop myself with things like that, but I think I'm right about that. Anyway, um, I don't know, right now, I just have it all A to Z, because uh, it's a little... I used to have it all by company, is how we did it, and yeah. I think I may go back to that. Um, no, I did the same thing, and then I stopped caring about which company it was, because I was like, you know, it would be strange to have a Marvel box, a DC box, and then have a, all those little ones that I've been going, oh, I've never heard of them, let me try it. What I what I used to do made all of this matter much less because and this is why I eat as eat it because all I'd have to do is um, look it up in my list and then I organized it you know in a list and then I oh, yeah. go find whatever I wanted and that was eat as eat kind of like a library you see what I'm saying so mm-hmm. um, so I used to have all my stuff on comic book uh, no what 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 is it um, oh man. Comic Book Collector Live is what I used. Right. And, um, or no, I'm sorry, not Comic Book. Comic Collector Live. That's the website, comiccollectorlive.com. And um, eventually they started charging, and I just quit using them. And, I mean, like, I think it's still probably worth it. Um, it's just that I'm not going to my old stuff enough that it's that, that, it, that it was worth it to me. I don't, I, And I'm not sure right now what they charge, so I don't want to throw out a figure um, of what it used to be. But anyway, um, it, what was really cool about Comic Collector Live, I don't know if you ever used it, no, I was trying to use something else. Comic Price Guide. Comic Price Guide also started charging. Yeah. Um, and I actually paid with them for a while until I found Comic Collector Live, and then they didn't charge, so I went to them and deleted my uh, other account, and then they started charging. Uh, but here's the thing about, about Comic Collector Live and why I liked it so much. Um, you could search <laughs> by literally anything. Um, if I wanted to read, if I wanted to figure out um, every issue I owned in my collection that had... Uh, J. Joan Jameson in it, mm-hmm. for instance. I could look his, his name up, and I would get every issue he appeared in that's in my personal collection. Um, I could look it up by writer. I could look it up by, by artist. Um, you, know, you know, anything like that. And I could look it up by story arc. So if I want to read everything in Nightfall, I didn't have to have Nightfall altogether. Um, I could just look at my screen and go, okay, I need to read Batman number whatever, and then I'd go grab that off the shelf. And um, when I was finished with that, I could put it back on the shelf and grab whatever was, was next and go find it alphabetical like a library. Uh-huh. Um, I really liked that, and that's why I eat as eat it, and that's why it's that way now. Um, um, I'd mm-hmm. love to go back to a system like that because I find that far less confusing to try to keep everything together. Especially when, I mean, with, with something like Nightfall, that's all over now, of course, so you can go back and just do it, but like, what about something that's current, you know what I mean? Then you gotta decide, where am I gonna put it right now, when I'm not exactly sure where all this is gonna cross? You know, what would you have done last year with that, or I, I guess the beginning of this year with that with, with that massive, you know, uh, Return of Doomsday, which was between, like, a million books and one-shots and things, you know? So, anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, uh, there are websites out there that offer free services. What I, what I do is I use uh, Microsoft Excel because they're not going to start charging me for having to use their program. I already bought it. It's done. Yeah. I'm not using anything right now, unfortunately. I don't, I don't have a list. At the oh, moment. yeah. Yeah, which sucks. Because, like I said, I deleted everything. Um, so I, uh, I have, I, I found a good one, uh, and I forget what it was, what, it, what it's called right now. I, I found a decent free one, but the website seems to break down <clears throat> so often. Um, so I mean, like it was just, it was a little bit slow, and it was really cumbersome to get it all in. Uh, so I don't know. Um, so I say I don't have a list. I think I still have that started. I just have to see where I left off last. I think I was in the D's or something. What uh, I thought about starting up one of them online because you know like the cool thing about having it online is uh, you have this database that pulls information for you. Like you said, you can search certain things and it'll just tell you what you need. But uh, the other cool thing is that you can see how much your collection is potentially worth. And uh, there's that's the thing that makes me want to try to find one online. But really, to run the risk of uh, not being able to log your collection anymore because somebody said. Oh, we're changing our format. And yep, which is just what a lot of us have gone through. Yeah, and uh, it's highly annoying. Like for example, Comicsology recently changed their format, and uh, I looked all over their thing trying to find where the pull list was, and I even sent them an email. I said, "That's the only feature that I use from you. Please bring it back." And uh, they said, "Oh, it's underneath our print comics list." I'm like, "Underneath printing comics? Why would pull list be underneath print comics? Yeah, that... Like that makes any sense." Well, well, no, it does because they, because they become much more of a digital service. So they're saying we've got digital, and we've got print. So you got to click the print button to get to where the pulls are. That kind of makes sense. I, I suppose it was just it was just really strange to me. Like it's a resource, not a uh, I think not it's an because online printing thing. That may, well, no, 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 but it's not about printing. It's that it's print comics versus digital comics. Oh, oh, print, God. not printing. Print, oh my, print comics, Vince. 
That makes sense. Yeah, that's why they put it there. That's dumb to me, though. That, they, well, I don't think so. They, they've, they've just separated the website out between between print and digital. Because no, they've got digital pulse, too. I got it. All right. Hang on. Vince needs to find his brain. No, it's okay. It's cool. I know I wasn't making fun of you. I just I figured you hadn't quite gotten no. the synapses firing on that. Yeah. The word print means several different things, as it turns out. Yeah, but Well, the, what was funny about it was that you kept saying printing, and I'm like, that's not what it says. It says yeah. print. It's a print comics. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, it's not a big deal. Um, but uh, well, we're we're nearly uh, out of time and need to go to uh, rants. Um, any I, last? I, I, one thing I did want to say um, that I didn't get a chance to earlier when you were talking about um, what's nice about having something online is also if you've got a, a smartphone like I have, if you have an iPhone or, or, or something like that. Um, it's also really nice to have something like that uh, because you can carry it around with you. So if you're in a store or something, yeah. Um, so like like you know you, you can. You can have like like a like a printed database, but then of course every time you add something to it, you got to reprint it. Um, if you've got if if you've got it all um, on a device that you can carry around with you and it's updating all the time, that's even better. You that know? is pretty cool. That there's one thing that uh, the reason I brought that up is I almost considered logging my collection into uh, mycomicshop.com. Mm. And uh, what's great about my I think mycomicshop.com is probably the best stock, uh, maybe the, the one I was best organized before, yeah. and the uh, just generally the best deal, like the best price you could possibly find. And, uh, for example, when I went to find all the issues that I tried to buy uh, recently, I went through uh, Mile High Comics just to see what they had, and they had, like, two-thirds of what the stuff that I wanted was, you know, that was on, uh, what do you call it, mycomicshop.com. Really? So, yeah, mycomicshop.com had more of a stock, and after I'd, you know, just compiled both carts... The uh, two thirds of the stock came up to seventy dollars more, so wow. Mile High was not only pricier; it was also less stocked than wow. MyComicShop.com. So I highly endorse those guys. But they, uh, the thing about their website is, is you can log your collection into it. You can sell stuff to them, and I'm not sitting here trying to give them a bump because it seems like they're doing just fine. But uh, you can log your collection into their website. You can even log it in at particular grades. Mm-hmm. So uh, that, that's just what I uh, what um uh that other website I was talking about earlier does. I can't I don't know why I can't think it, of it uh, right now. Based um, out of Texas? Kind of, no, a comic book collector life. Uh, oh, that's okay. the, that's the, they, they do that also. Um yeah. but I I mean and the thing of the, but the, but the difference with that with that is they're they're not like they don't have like one stock. It's all about um people who have their collections but then they're also selling parts of their collections. So mm-hmm. when they show you what what uh, what they have quote unquote in stock, it's different. It's different buyers. It's different sellers and buyers. You know that all have different things, and then you see yeah. who's got the one that you want, that that sort of thing. So yeah, and uh, mycomicshop.com allows you to do that. It's it's based out of Lone okay. Star Comics in Texas. Mm-hmm. I forget what yeah, town, but it's it's a great comic site. I mean, if you want to know how to accurately organize your collection alphabetically those guys are the ones to do it because it wasn't Punisher Volume 1 Volume 2 Volume 1 right. it was Punisher first series second series third series well and the thing about it is um, all all a website really needs to do is it doesn't matter really at all what exactly they call it as long as they've got a, 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 a you're next to it and you're set yeah you know? then you know um, another one that I recommend uh, this isn't uh, I don't think this website catalogs your comics for you but is one of the most well kept up to date things that I've found is a comicbookdb.com it stands for database comic yeah. book database um, I don't know if you've used that um, but what I like I about use the Marvel and DC databases uh, what I what I use that for primarily is to figure out uh, what the most recent releases are for trades and things. Uh, I mean, they have they have up to date every single thing that gets released, and they also uh, have really really good search features. So once again, if you want to know every appearance of a particular character, um, it will not only give you every issue that character appeared in, but it will it will also tell you what trades you can get those in, uh, and that's and that's really really nice. So uh, it's it's uh, it's a it's a very well kept up to to uh, to date database. And it's not too flashy, so it's not concerned with having a bunch of pictures and things. It simply has the the, the the data you need, and so if you need to look up a lot of stuff, you can do it. You can do it much faster. And we don't always have to have pictures of everything. But the thing about it is, what you can you can get the pictures. You just have to click on it. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it just it doesn't fill your page up with a whole bunch of stuff that you're not interested in at that moment. It just gives you the links so that you go, okay, I need that, and then you can click on it to make sure that that's the picture that you, of the thing that you wanted. Anyway, it's 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 quite good. 